Welcome to our informative video series. As the former President Bill Clinton said, after years of denial and deception, the Philip Morris Company has admitted that cigarette smoking causes lung cancer and other diseases. This formal acknowledgement comes far too late, but still we must all welcome it. It can be the beginning of clearing the air. Thanks Mr. President. This video will focus on tools to help anyone quit smoking. If you're a smoker and need more reasons to quit, here's one. If you stop now, you will have a better quality of life and more years to live it, said the US Surgeon General. Smoking is one of the worst habits to cultivate. Cigarette or tobacco smoking do not only damage your health, but also affects your finance. It's like paying for your own death sentence. Average American that smokes up to four packs a week will spend more than $1,920 a year on cigarette alone. A waste of money on self-detriment. Smoking affects the lungs so badly. Coughing, cold, wheezing and asthma are just the start. Smoking can cause fatal diseases such as pneumonia, emphysema, and lung cancer. Smoking causes 84% of deaths from lung cancer and 83% of deaths from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, in bracket COPD. As you already know, quitting smoking isn't easy, but not impossible. Millions of other people have done it, so can you too. Craving to smoke and quitting are psychological, so if you can't do it yourself, please do seek professional help. Here are best quit smoking aids that can increase your chance of success and help ease withdrawal symptoms as well. 1. Call a quit smoking line. When you call a quit line, you can talk with someone who is trained to help people quit smoking. It's free, and you can call almost any time. You can find a quit line by calling the American Cancer Society. A professional will evaluate your overall health condition prior to any recommendation. 2. Nicotine Patches. After evaluation, you will be given a measured dose of nicotine through your skin to fight cravings. And you can buy patches without prescription. Several types and strengths are available. The one you choose depends on your body size and how much you smoked. Try to slowly decrease your dose. These patches have been known to cause trouble sleeping. If this is the case, remove the patch before going to bed and replace it when you wake up. 3. Nicotine Gum. This fast-acting form of nicotine replacement doesn't need a prescription either. And it comes in two strengths, of 2 and 4 milligrams. You will have to chew the gum slowly until it tastes peppery, then place the gum against your cheek. Switch between chewing it and placing it next to your cheek for about 20 to 30 minutes. But don't eat or drink anything when using the gum. This reduces nicotine absorption. Scheduling your doses throughout the day may work better for calming cravings. 4. Nicotine Nasal Spray. A prescribed nasal spray sends nicotine quickly to the bloodstream. So, it eases withdrawal symptoms right away. The spray offers a sense of control over cravings. Most smokers using it report great results. But it can cause sneezing and watery eyes because it tastes peppery. The US Food and Drug Administration advises using it only for up to six months. 5. Nicotine Inhaler. Using this prescription device is like smoking a cigarette. When you puff on the inhaler, a cartridge in the plastic tube gives off nicotine. But the medicine doesn't go into your lungs like cigarette. It's simply delivered to your mouth for quick absorption. This also calm your craving. 6. Nicotine Lozenges. These over-the-counter lozenges also are available in two strengths of 2 and 4 milligrams. You decide which dose to take based on when you usually had your first cigarette of the day. You'll absorb less nicotine if you eat or drink while using a lozenge. 7. Bupropion. This non-nicotine prescription medicine affects chemicals that are responsible for cravings. So, it reduces withdrawal symptoms. It has the active ingredient called bupropion. This is used as an antidepressant. You can use it alone or with nicotine replacement therapy. Finally, number 8 is varenicline. This oral prescription medicine reduces nicotine withdrawal symptoms. It also decreases the pleasure you get from smoking. Side effects can include changes in mood or behavior. It is important to use this medicine under medical supervision. Remember results or effectiveness of these aids varies from one individual to another. 
We hope these quit smoking aids can help you towards a smoke-free future, but it's also smart to develop a plan to change your personal habits and set up a network of emotional support. Turn to family and friends for some emotional support during medication. Avoid unprescribed self-medication. Always talk with a healthcare provider before taking any medication or switching from one treatment to another. Like we always say, we love you, so love yourself by staying active and healthy. Good things can be harmful. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more amazing and informative videos. Peace and love.